Good morning students. Today we are going to start our new topic that is components of food. But before starting this chapter, let's recapitulate our last topic, our last chapter that is about food. In the previous chapter, we have learned about food. So food, a tables taken by human beings and animals which provide us energy. That items are called, that tables are called food. So what are the various functions of the food? Food provides us energy to do various activities. It helps our body to grow and replace the worn out cells. It protects our body from various types of diseases. Le next, nutrition. So nutrition, it is a process of taking food and utilized it for the growth and development of the body. Next, next we have learned about uh, ingredients so the material that are needed to prepare a particular type of dish are called ingredients nutrients the chemical substances in food that our body needs are called nutrients so the next uh, we have learned about food uh, from various parts of the plant we eat stem roots flowers leaves fruits as well as seeds of the plants we have also uh, learned about herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. What are herbivores? Plant eating animals are called herbivores. Uh, animal eating, uh, flesh eating animals are called carnivores. Omnivores uh, are the animals that eat both uh, plants as well as the flesh of the other animals. So in continuation with this chapter, we will learn more about the nutrients. Nutrients, essential components of the food that provide nourishment to the body. The food that we eat has some essential uh, components that are required for the proper growth and development of the body. So nutrients are the essential components. Components of food. The various components of food are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, dietary fibers and water so in this chapter we will learn about these components about their sources functions and also test their presence in a particular food item the food items that contain these nutrients can be classified as energy giving food bodybuilding food protective food so first is energy giving food so the food items that gives a lot of energy are called energy giving food. Carbohydrates and fats are included in this group. So second is bodybuilding food. Bodybuilding food are important for the growth and maintenance of the body cells. So proteins are included in this group. Third is protective food. Protective, it protects us from various diseases. They are needed in small quantities, but these are essential for our body. So vitamins and minerals are included in this type of food. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the major source of giving energy in our body. That's why they are called energy giving food. They are made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Sugars and starch are the types of carbohydrates. They are nutrients that give us quick energy. Sugars are used to provide energy immediately. Starch releases energy more slowly than sugars. Sources of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates include wheat, maize, rice, jowar, bajra, potatoes, sugar, honey, bread, jaggery, sugarcane, sugar beet. Functions of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates such as starch and sugar provides most of the energy to our body. It is the cheapest source of energy to our body and it also plays an important role in the structure and function of our body cells. Carbohydrates are of two types. 
simple and complex. Simple carbohydrates are digested quickly and thus provide instant energy to our body. Example is sugar. Complex carbohydrates take a longer time to be digested. Its example is starch. Let's test for the presence of sugar. For this test, materials required Benedict solution, test tube, crushed pieces of grapes or banana. The procedure is take a test tube, add these crushed pieces of grapes or banana in it, add few drops of Benedict solution and heat the test tube. After some time, you will observe a brick red precipitates are formed. So it means it shows the presence of sugar in the given sample of the food. Now let's test for the presence of starch in a given food sample. The required material is iodine solution, test tube, crushed pieces of potato or wheat flour. Procedure Take a test tube and add the given food sample, the crushed pieces of potato or wheat flour in it. Add some water and mix and shake the test tube well. After some time, add few drops of iodine solution. You will observe the food turns into blue-black color. It shows the presence of starch in the given food sample. Fats Fats are also give us energy that our body needs to work properly. So they are also called energy giving food. Fats are also composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. One gram of fat releases twice the energy released by the same amount of carbohydrates. Eating too much fat rich food can make us overweight and eventually leads to obesity. Sources of fats some of the sources of fats are oil, ghee, butter, milk, eggs, meat, etc. Functions of fats Fats give much more energy as compared to the carbohydrates. It keeps our body warm. It helps our body to absorb nutrients. Taste for the presence of fats Materials required paper, peanuts. Procedure is take a piece of paper, add few peanuts in it, fold the paper and crush the peanuts. Then unfold the paper and you will observe oily patch on the paper. This shows the presence of fats in the given food sample.